every time I make a video on this topic, no matter how like super exciting it is, uh, 99% of everybody goes, <laughs> and that's lighting. Lighting! Why is lighting so boring? Well, this is not exciting, is it? It depends on who you are. <laughs> I've mentioned to you before that, like, when there's a, a huge a photo a photography convention, um, that uh, all the uh, the noobs and the gearheads and the gear sluts immediately start flocking towards the cameras and the lenses. It's like, yeah, let's take a look at the new camera. And then all the pro photographers, they get, uh, you know, really uh, intellectually uh, excited about the lighting equipment. Literally, you can actually see that. If you actually go at the height of a photography uh, convention, you all see the, the dummies and the morons flocked around the cameras and the lenses. <clears throat> and if you go over to the lighting section, you'll see it's like, wow, there's famous photographer so-and-so. Yeah, the dumbasses are over here. Not that there's anything wrong looking at cameras and lenses. The idiots are over here. And the hardcore pros are over here looking at like reflectors, softboxes, octaboxes, uh, light mods, beauty dishes, studio strobes, power packs. Oh my god, there is nothing more boring than a power pack, right? <laughs> you know, wow, this is photography. How can I get excited about a battery? Uh, because power is necessary for light, and light is uh, pretty sure quintessential to photography. That's why you see, uh, you know, this uh, pornographic, uh, you know, uh, lust fest going on over in the uh, lighting equipment department of the uh, photography convention. Yeah. Why do you think that is? If you want to have one uh, 2017 New Year resolution, it should be that you should start getting excited about lighting. And if you're, a lot of people actually would be excited, but they're afraid of it. You know. People think, well, I have a hard enough time controlling my camera. You know, I don't want to throw something else in. I mean, people are bored when you talk about speed lights. It's like, are you kidding me? I get excited about speed lights. I get more excited about, a, 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 like, when Fuji came out with their new speed light and uh, the Nissans came out with uh, their speed lights uh, for Fuji. You know, that was really exciting to me. On all these Fuji boards, Literally, in the lighting section, people sit there and talk about cameras and lenses and like just to pound the keyboard. They'll pound the shit out of the keyboard talking about cameras and like You go to the lighting section of any Fuji, Nikon, Canon, you know, you go to the lighting section. There's nothing going on. What the hell is wrong with people? <laughs> That's the most exciting thing. It's like, well, what's wrong with you? You know, you get excited about studio strobes and like, that's what's important. You should make a New Year's resolution because most of you have this issue. You do. You've got a serious damn issue. A, you're afraid of it, or B, it doesn't excite you, or a combination thereof. You should make up your mind. Now, some people have absolutely no use for studio strobe. None. You do know these things are portable once you buy a battery pack, right? You stick a softbox on this bitch and you do some outdoor portraiture. I mean, shit. Talk about make the money and make the shot. Nothing is more useful than a studio strobe. I mean, what, what, what's her face? Uh, I can't remember her name. Uh, you know, got a studio. She's been rocking that thing. Hardcore. Everybody's looking at her pictures. You know, wow, amazing. What was it? Studio strobe. It wasn't the new lens. It wasn't the new camera. It was this. It was lighting. Why don't you get a cheap one of these, a DB400, which I think is, what, $250? You can get a battery pack if you want, if you want to make it portable. Either that or the easy route is to buy, like, a 50-foot extension cord. Usually there's a power socket within 50 feet somewhere. That'll cost you, like, 80 bucks for a 50-foot extension cord. Even cheaper than that, depending on which one you get. You should get excited about lighting. You know, let me drop this off. Let me stick on a softbox or an octabox back here. Um, drop on an interesting light mod, uh, drop in an uh, umbrella. The stuff that you could do, I mean, it, it's limitless. I don't do studio stuff. I am a natural light photographer. 
Well, 99% of everybody that says they're a natural light photographer, what that really means is that they're too intimidated to learn about lighting. Lighting ratios. Like, oh, ratios. It's not hard to understand ratios. Like, well, you know, 90% of my illumination is going to be my main light. And then I might have my fill light, uh, you know, about 70% less than that. I mean, it's easy. Like, well, about 70% less. You chimp off the back of your camera, what's easier is the next step is to get a damn light meter. But, I mean, you can sit there and chimp off your camera, and it's like, well, okay, I need to dial it down a little bit more. Start out slow. You know, you don't go in head first in the waters of lighting. Creep your way in. It's like, you know how to chimp off the back of your damn camera, right? Oh, okay, fine. Lighting ratio. 90% of my illumination is my primary. 20 or 30% is uh, my uh, accent light. Say I'm going to drop a gel on it to uh, mimic uh, shooting uh, in late uh, evening lighting. I'm going to drop an orange gel on it. Okay. Why do, you're so intimidated. Just spend a day failing. If you want to buy like a mannequin head off of eBay for like 20 bucks, and you know, fail with that thing in your backyard for an hour. You know, you're not going to embarrass anybody, and you're not going to embarrass the plastic mannequin head. You know, fail with that thing. It only take you a day of failure, and then you're like, "Wow, man, I nailed it. This is awesome looking." And it's only a plastic uh, chick head. <laughs> you know, they sell those things for hairdressers. You know, it's a, a, a female head, and it's got some hair on it. They use them for uh, teach you how to uh, hack up somebody else's hair without actually hacking on the real hair. You know, they sell those on eBay. Buy one of those, stick it on a stick. Yeah, stick a head on a stick. Your neighbors would be calling the police. Hello, there's a head on a stick in my neighbor's yard. <laughs> I think he's doing satanic sacrifices. <laughs> there was some photographer that was doing that, and the neighbor literally did call. Because he had these heads on a stick in his backyard, and the old chick thought that they were real heads. Because, you know, they do look really lifelike. That actually did happen once. I'll never forget that story. That is funny. Funny. Uh, just go out and fail. Man, you need to get excited about lighting, though. I mean, you're you're screwing up by not getting excited about it. People are not excited about lighting, and they should be excited about lighting. Let me roll this up here. There we go. Spend $250 on a studio head like this. You know, this is a LED illumination. Use continuous illumination on this. It's got some serious output. It should be your New Year's resolution, and most other photographers, is to get serious about lighting. Start making some light mods, you know. Don't be a lazy asshole. Or at least buy a few decent light mods. The ones I make, I can't buy anywhere. They're my own inventions. You're free to make my inventions, too. I showed you how to make them. They're really easy. You know, cost you five bucks, sit in front of the TV eating Cheetos while you're making them. You know, once you made them, you're done, right? Why don't you make them? Why aren't you excited about lighting? Because you're intimidated by it. Either that or you're not excited, or it's a combination of both, like I said, so... Get excited about lighting. That should be your damn uh, 2017 New Year resolution to improve your photography. Everybody that I've told that to that's actually taken it to heart, they've all said the same thing. Oh my God, I should have listened to you earlier when you said that I didn't get uh, serious about light. I just went out and I failed, you know, for a few hours and then I learned and then, man, I've got the best pictures I've ever taken. I've got saturation, separation, shadow definition. Man, what makes your images pop is not that expensive bleeping camera or that expensive damn lens. It's this shit. It's lighting. And you need to start having like a, uh, a, uh, <clears throat> a intimate uh, erotic attraction to lighting as opposed to, you know, squirreling away money for more da another damn lens. Can you feel me? Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can send a big, fat, juicy pizza or tell me to jump off a cliff. <laughs> the last thing my fat butt needs is another pizza, right? Ooh, red velvet cake. God, I miss that velvet cake. The last one I got was a Christmas gift. I destroyed that thing. <laughs> bow, bow. Red velvet cake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye. Lighting!
Lighting, damn it! Lighting! 